Hello guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and uh, this time I have come with another exciting tutorial for CG Tutes Plus readers. You must have watched in the preview about the agenda of today's tutorial. I am going to show you how to simulate cross and its uh, dynamic reaction with a rigid body. I have used a hair and fur in 3ds Max. It is certainly a great thing in 3ds Max and the uh, a method I am uh, gonna tell today could be very useful for you on several occasions. But since hair and fur takes a very long time to render, if set to highest quality, uh, so I would uh, present my this tutorial in a form of an example, and uh, I'm sure you uh, can use the same uh, process and method in your uh, bigger projects. So let's start and uh, create a plane in the viewport. This will be used as the base of a grass or a land piece. Uh, let's increase its segments a bit. Uh, 10 will do. Uh, and then uh, simply apply here and fur uh, modify onto it. And uh, this is the first look of here and fur. If you render the scene, you will find something like this. It's quite big and uh, we need to uh, tweak some values according to our uh, necessities. So uh, these are the uh, properties of hair and fur modifier. In general parameters, you find hair count, uh, which is 15,000 uh, by default. Hair segment is uh, 5 by default. Uh, if you make it 1, uh, the grass will look very straight. Uh, so it requires some segments. Density is just like uh, population, population of uh, grass. The scale defines the size uh, and height of uh, grass. Cut length cuts the grass from the top. And uh, this is uh, root thickness, top thickness, and uh, so many things here. We will use some of them later. But for now, uh, let's scale down the grass height a bit. And if you render the scene now, you will find uh, short grass all over the field. And you can uh, easily see the gaps here. So we can do one thing. Uh, we can increase the hair count and uh, then if you render the scene, you will find something like this. The gap is filled uh, much better, but uh, th there is a lot uh, more to do yet. So. Uh, Come here to uh, multi-strand parameters and here make the count 2 and uh, display the tip a bit, something like this. You can easily see in the viewport what is going on. And uh, now it's time to apply some lights here. So go to lights, standard lights and pick a target spotlight and uh, drag it in the viewport. Uh, yes, and uh, adjust the direction a bit, and and in this light, uh, choose the shadow as advanced rate twist and uh, intensity is okay. Now to see how grass behaves in light, press F9 or Shift Q to render the scene, and you can see the shadow uh, pass here. Shadow renders first. And then you get this it looks pretty good to me right now the color of the base plane is blue so make it green so that it, it could uh, easily merge with the grass now come to material parameters and uh, change the root color to something like this and uh, tip color uh, to something uh, something like this okay and now if you render the scene, uh, it renders the shadow first and uh, now the grass and finally it looks like this. It is looking a bit dark so uh, let's apply one more light to the scene. Uh, just copy the same uh, light, make its shadow off and reduce its intensity. Uh, two. And now if you render the scene, you get something like this, better than before. You can always play with the 
color values for different uh, results. Let's change the tip color a bit towards uh, yellow. Yes, and uh, let's see how different uh, result it gives. Yes, it looks nice. Now grass is ready, so uh, let's come to a dynamics part. It is set to uh, none, so uh, change it to uh, live. As soon as you select live, you can see dynamic change in uh, grass in the viewport. Make the gravity zero and uh, uh, click on regrow here. Here, regrow uh, turns the dynamics to none. Uh, so once again, changes to uh, life. It won't show any effect right now since gravity is uh, zero and uh, uh, we haven't added any external force here. So go to space warps and uh, create a wind force in the viewport. Adjust the direction a bit. And now uh, in the external forces, add the wind from the list. And once you add it, you can easily see how wind is affecting the grass in the scene. Grass has now become live. For better results, uh, you can always play with the values of uh, wind, uh, uh, like turbulence, uh, frequency. You can play with the strength value too. Actually, you will have to see uh, which settings give you best result. You can animate the wind too. Uh, let me an animate uh, its uh, flow direction a bit. Instead of this, you can animate the values like strength, frequency, turbulence values. As said, it all depends on you what kind of uh, result you want to see. And once it is done, click on regrow. Click on regrow here uh, once again, and uh, then. Uh, choose again live option and now uh, you can see how grass behaves in wind and now it if you render the scene you uh, find the flow of grass because of wind in the scene now it's time to make a solid ball in the scene which will react with the grass so make a sphere in the viewport we will treat it uh, as a ball, adjust it a little bit. Scale down it a bit. Now uh, let's animate the ball. Place the ball uh, here first. Go to the first frame, turn the auto key option on and uh, then go to uh, 50 frames and uh, bring the ball here. I, yes, and um, then go to uh, 100 frames and then bring the ball here. Adjust its a position too. So uh, this is the animation of the ball. It rolls over the grass field, but uh, there is no reaction on the grass right now. No reaction between ball and grass. See. See, it is simply uh, rolling over the field. So, 
in this case uh, go to collisions and here it is set to none so select sphere and uh, you get some uh, movement in the cross field it's a default movement now click on uh, add and uh, select the sphere once you do it again go to regrow here click it and once again change it to live but in the grass field uh, you are seeing this thing it happens automatically it looks like uh, some heavy object has uh, crushed the grass uh, here so to amend this uh, select sphere once again and uh, then deselect uh, use growth object option and once you do it go to regrow here option again click on it come to dynamics select live once again and now you won't have that problem anymore and now if you play the animation you can see the dynamic uh, reaction between ball and grass only that part of grass field is affected where the ball is rolling over grass reacts when the ball touches it we can do one thing uh, let's increase the value of uh, root thickness uh, and tip thickness too and make the hair count as uh, 20,000 and now if you render the scene you get something like this now the grass is pretty much bigger and thicker it looks pretty good to me um, you can do one thing uh, just increase the value of a scale a bit uh, so that it looks uh, better see the reaction once again render the scene once again and uh, finally it looks better and great now it's time to render the whole animation so go to rendering render setup and uh, let it be 640 and 480 it's enough and choose the range from uh, 0 to 100 uh, and then click on file and uh, go to in my desired folder I save the file as a grass uh, simulation oh uh, it's simulation and uh, here I'll choose a TGA format and uh, save okay and now uh, click on render now it will take us uh, some time to render uh, because here and for takes longer time to render so I skip this part and uh, I come again when all the rendering is completed now let's move to After Effects uh, here import the rendered files okay and now bring this image sequence in timeline and when you play the animation you find something like this see how the grass is uh, reacting with the ball so this is the thing guys you can use uh, this technique in any of your projects um, and I would suggest you to do some R&D with the options and parameters of uh, hair and fur to achieve some great and uh, fantastic results so guys I believe you have enjoyed this tutorial see you next time this is Chandan Kumar from India Bye.